someone else out there. So we, we're basically seeing the game evolve before our very eyes. Here's Eckstein. He's recovered from the blow, and he's going to over number two. And I guess we've seen him with the big D on his back. Now he just has a single D, yeah. but it is a pretty big D. Hopefully <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a look at uh, when he runs into bolt. Yeah, one thing we know about uh, Daniel Eckstein when he bowls, he, I mean, he's dangerous because of the swing he gets. He gets a lot of swing. We saw that when we saw the, the European Cricket Series in Austria Seabarn. He does get the ball to swing around a lot. So that's a good example of it. See that one? The bat is playing where he thinks he's going to be, down the leg side, and look where it ends up. Big swing there, Vinny. Yeah, and this, this is what he can do. He can actually swing it both ways as well, but I think that's his stop ball. That left to right swing goes away from the left-hander. It's a good start from him. Just trying to peg it back a little bit after things got out of control for, for uh, Austria in that first over. Oh, uh, this is pitching outside the leg stick, so no matter where the ball is going to end up, it can't be out, but again, you see that movement there. Yeah, well, there's Corey. He's got his zinc cream on and making a few notes. So, yeah, he's he's told me a couple of little secrets off the record of uh, a few little innovative things he might try. He's certainly he's a guy that's he, not afraid to pick out of the box. He can be quite crafty, Corey. He, he can, can be. be. He can be selling you down the swanee, you know that. I mean, he's so far out of the box... You can't even see the box anymore. <laughs> the box is like a dot in the distance. So, I mean, I think it's suited to this, this type of the game. And I know yeah. that Spain are trying hard to, to climb the T20 national rankings, as are Austria, of course, and all the teams you see here. Oh, that's well bowled. That's unlucky. And this is going to be four runs. Not going to be stopped. And uh, things just not happening here for Austria in the field so far. And uh, hay poquito de suerte por el equipo de España. Cuatro carreras más. Uh, this one could have gone anywhere. Oh, this is unlucky. Can't set a field to that, really. It's totally beaten. I think it grabs the inside edge and maybe a little bit of the, the back leg. I'm not sure, but just trickled to the boundary. So Spain getting a bit of luck there. Babar, now he's seen it. I'll tell you what he wants to do. He wants to step across and he wants to, to just whack it away over the leg side, just like he did earlier on in the first over. That's what he's thinking. He knows what, what Eckstein's delivering. He's big in-swingers. Down the ground, gonna take the single. Yeah, so that time didn't really get the length to play with. It's full. I think that's often a good tactic as well. Seems to work more than anything else. Just staying, staying full in that block hole, block hole length. But I mean, we've seen some different tactics already today. I think batters then expect that, and we've seen Spain in particular really tried out the short stuff on Austria and had some success through the top order as well. Anyway, here's Gruvinda, the left hand up to face the last ball of the over. Goes up and over, but can't get it over the outstretched hands of the fielder. Backpedaling out of 